Lo que están a punto de ver es una entrevista con una leyenda moderna del Claymation, Lee Hardcastle. Quizá no conozcan su nombre, pero seguramente han visto su trabajo. En esta entrevista hablamos de la creación de los cortometrajes de Ricky Morty para Adult Swim y al mismo tiempo de Summer Sleepover, su nuevo cortometraje de 11 minutos. Disfruten esta entrevista. Thank you so much for your time, Lee. It's a pleasure to meet you. I mean, I'm a huge fan of your animated work and as a freaking horror geek, I would like to know uh, what's the origin of your passion for gore and claymation animation? Oh, well, it's, you know, it's from, it's from growing up. Um, growing up, I was born in, in the 80s. So I grew up in the 90s as a kid. Stop motion animation, claymation, horror, cinema you know all that sort of stuff was it had, it had such an impact on on my life and 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 the culture around me growing up mm -hmm. um, and and 100% that's where it all comes from is and then and then as you got older you saw a lot less uh, stop motion animation it wasn't the same as it was in the 90s especially when it became computer animation and you saw a lot more toy story and that sort of thing As an adult, I guess I sort of had a bit of a desire to bring it back and and, and, and explore the medium as well. Like, it was always one of those things that I never had the privilege to do as a child. It was always one of those things that I'd look at and see on TV and think, oh, that looks nice, that looks cool, I'd like to do a bit of that. But it wasn't until later in life that I got to finally have a go at it. A long time, uh, some time ago, you made 36 animated shorts called Rick and Morty and Non-Canonical Adventures. You made reference to classics like The Thing, The Fly, and some forgotten modern movies like Hobo with a Shotgun. <laughs> Where do these insane and twisted ideas came from? So, initially, I was approached by Adult Swim to do, um, to do five, like five, five uh, Rick and Morty idents. There wasn't, there wasn't necessarily an idea behind them. There was no idea at this point. There was no parodies or anything. So I was trying to come up with the idea of what to do. And I was thinking about movie parody ideas. And I was thinking of uh, films that exist that are about mad scientists. And then replace Rick in the roles of, of those mad scientist films. So originally we came up with Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, The Fly, The Reanimator, etc. And when I made those initial five, Adult Swim come back to me and said, oh, we like them a lot. Can you make like 10 more? Um, but the, there isn't there isn't any more Mad Scientist films beyond the five that I actually chose. So they came to me with a list. They were like, just pick a load of films from this list. And, and so initially there was a, a lot of their ideas to begin with. So like Ghostbusters 2001. Those were from Adult Swim, and then as time went on, they sort of like gave me a bit more trust and asked me to do my picks. So later on, that's when I picked stuff like Herbal with a Shotgun, uh, Pulp Fiction, uh, those were more, more my choices. Mm, let's talk a little about uh, Summer Sleepover, your new animated special. I already saw it, it's full of strange visuals, weird music and lots of green fluids. <laughs> So, if my memory doesn't trick me, this is your longest project uh, since Spook Train. Um, yeah, yeah, that's correct. Did you have any problem adapting to a format longer than six minutes? Yeah, I wouldn't say problem is a word, but it's definitely a different, a different animal to a two, like a two-minute short film. I feel like you can get away with so much in a short film, but when The format is longer, you need to think about it less as a singular short film, but more as like a series of short films. But there's a lot there's a lot more there's a lot more pace involved. Yeah, you gotta think about it a lot differently to the short stuff for definite. In some scenes of the short film we can see some CGI animation and very disturbing CGI animation. So is this your first time uh, involving CGI in your animated projects? Yeah, yeah, it is actually. I've always been a fan of CGI. I've always admired it from afar, but it's never been something that I've wanted to do for myself. Yeah, I've always uh, wanted to have collaborations and people to contribute CG elements to my animations, but I've never really done it before in the past. And 
this was just one of those opportunities where, yeah, I was like, I was looking for other animators to do animation for my for the, for the short film, and and then yeah, this was just an exciting opportunity for me to get uh, some CG animation involved, and especially that really like scary looking computer animation where it looks very sort of. Why did you decide to choose Summer as the main character of this new nightmare that you? I was okay. So, so um, when I got asked to do the short film, the first thing that they said to me was that they previously had made three short films through other animation studios. Uh, anime did like a couple of anime ones, but they really focused on Rick and Morty and not on any of the other characters. So they said, "Oh, we've already done some short films, but we'd like to do ones that focused on some of the other characters." So. Um, do you have any other big idea that you would like to do with Rick and Morty in the future? No, I have not. No, but you know, if um, if uh, if, the, if Adult Swim were to come back to me again, I'd certainly like to revisit the the universe. One hundred percent.